Chris here with some important information. If you're replacing the SSD in your Mac with an OWC Aura Pro X solid state drive. The Aura Pro X is a high performance NVMe drive with a 512 byte sector size. Because of that, not only does the Aura Pro X require the use of Mac OS 1013 High Sierra or later as the installed OS, but the host computer itself needs to be upgraded to 1013 before the Aura Pro X drive is installed. Upgrading to an external drive won't work. You need to update the OS on the stock drive while it's still installed. You need to do this first since the OS upgrade includes an EFI firmware update which will update the Mac itself, allowing it to recognize the Aura Pro X as a valid drive. If you don't install the High Sierra EFI update first, your Mac won't be able to recognize the Aura Pro X properly and efforts to install an OS on it will fail. Once you've upgraded your stock internal drive to 1013 High Sierra or later, your Mac's firmware will be upgraded and you'll be able to install the Aura Pro X and the OS. You can find videos for installing the drive on your particular model Mac on our website. You should also note that an unformatted Aura Pro X may not show up in the 1013 Disk Utility Drive list by default after it's been installed. The first thing to try is to access the main menu and choose View Show All Devices. If this doesn't work, you may have to quit and relaunch the Disk Utility to find the unformatted drive. Finally, if you've attempted to format and install an OS on your Aura Pro X without first updating your Mac to High Sierra, you'll need to go back and update your computer with the EFI update that's part of 1013 or later using your original drive. Then, reformat the Aura Pro X using Disk Utility and reinstall the new OS on it. By following these instructions, your Aura Pro X will be ready to use.